Praise the Lord. We're here today again in the upper room of our house church. My wife and I and I am preaching to you from Numbers. Numbers chapter 21. Numbers chapter 21. Verse 1. Numbers 21. Verse 1. And when King Arad the Canaanite, which dwelt in the south, heard tell that Israel came by the way of the spies, then he fought against Israel and took some of them prisoners. And Israel vowed a vow unto the Lord and said, If thou wilt indeed deliver this people into my hand, then I will utterly destroy their cities. And the Lord hearkened to the voice of Israel and delivered up the Canaanites. And they utterly destroyed them and their cities. And he called the name of the place Hormah. And they journeyed from Mount Hor by the way of the Red Sea to compass the land of Edom. And the soul of the people was much discouraged because of the way. And the people spake against God and against Moses. Wherefore have ye brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no bread, neither is there any water, and our soul loathes this light bread. And the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, and they bit the people. And much people of Israel died. Therefore the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord. And against thee, pray unto the Lord that he take away the serpents from us. And Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent, and set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass that every one that is bitten, when he looketh upon it, shall live. And Moses made a serpent of brass, and put it upon a pole. And it came to pass that if a serpent had bitten any man, when he beheld the serpent of brass, he lived. God said, It shall come to pass that everyone that is bitten, when he looketh upon it, when they behold that serpent of brass, when they look and see that serpent of brass on the pole, when they behold it, they shall live, even though they were bitten by the fiery serpents. Let's turn. John 640, John chapter 6, verse 40, John 640, Jesus says, And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. So God told Moses that everyone that sees this serpent They'll see it, they'll behold the serpent, and they shall live. Jesus also says, And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son, and believeth on him, may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. See, behold, the Son of God. Praise the Lord. Let's turn. Let's turn to Jude. Jude 121. So you see the Son of God, and you believe on Him, and you may have everlasting life, Jesus says, and He'll raise you up on the last day. This is the promise. This is the promise that He raises you up on the last day. Jude 1, verse 21. Jude says, To keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. This is the promise of God. Eternal life, eternal life from Jesus Christ, if you look upon the Son, believe on Him. He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. So Jude says, to keep yourself in the love of God. Jesus says, he that seeth the Son and believeth on me. That's a continuing faith. It's not a one-time thing. You did back in 1979. Believeth. It's a continuing faith. He that seeth the Son and believeth on me. So Jude says, keep yourselves in the love of God. Keep yourselves in the love of God. For God is love itself. God is love itself. 
So keep yourself in love. Keep yourselves in the love of God to see the Son and believeth on Him, keeping yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy. Future tense. Looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. Jesus Christ himself is mercy. I had a man yesterday when I was preaching in Winchester. He came up to me and he was like, well, I've heard street preachers preach before and I didn't like it. I think it should be more merciful. I think you should preach more mercy. And I said to him, well, I'm preaching Jesus Christ and that is mercy. Showing people Jesus Christ on the cross is showing them mercy. Showing them mercy. Showing them Christ. The mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's who I preach. Jesus Christ and his mercy on the cross. So we keep ourselves in the love of God. He that seeth the Son and believeth on him, keeping ourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life, who Jesus Christ promises he'll raise us on the last day. Let's turn. 1 John. 1 John chapter 5, verse 11. 1 John chapter 5. 1 John chapter 5, verse 11. And this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in His Son. This is the record that God hath given us eternal life. Jesus says, if you see me and believe on me, you have eternal life. Keep yourselves in the love of God, Jude says, looking for mercy and the hope of eternal life. That God is not a liar. God gives us this record. He promises us eternal life, and this life is in His Son, Jesus Christ. And Jesus says of Himself, He that seeth the Son and believeth on Him hath eternal life. Let's turn, and I will raise Him up on the last day. Jude 121. Let's go back to Jude 121. Jude chapter 1, verse 21. Keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. Moses, God told Moses that they who see the serpent will be healed of their fiery serpent. They won't die. Jesus says, if you see me and believe on me, you won't die. Jude says that we're to look for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. Let's turn. 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 2. 1 Timothy 1, 2. 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 2. Unto Timothy, my own son in the faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and Jesus Christ our Lord. Jude says to keep ourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy looking for the mercy. Paul says, that's future tense. Paul says to Timothy, unto Timothy, my own son in the faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and Jesus Christ our Lord. Why? Because we are the elect of God. We have it now. We have eternal life now. We have mercy now. We have grace now. We have mercy and grace now, but if we don't keep ourselves in the love of God, then that mercy and grace won't be there for us. Won't be there if we don't see the Son and believe on Him. Believeth. The believeth. A continuing belief. If we don't keep ourselves in the love of God, why would you say to keep ourselves in the love of God? Looking for that future mercy. Looking for the resurrection Jesus promised. And I will raise Him up at the last day. That's the future mercy that mercy that Jesus offers, the resurrection. Paul says unto Timothy that we being the elect of God as the saints of God, having mercy now, grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and Jesus Christ our Lord, having grace now, which is His Spirit. His Spirit, the Spirit of grace and supplications. His Spirit, that's grace. His Spirit in us, our heart, has grace, and so he gives us his mercy. And if we have grace, if we have his spirit, and we have mercy now, then what else do we have now? We have peace. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and Jesus Christ our Lord. Grace, mercy, 
and peace from God our Father and Jesus Christ our Lord. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 2. Elect, elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father. God knows you're going to make it. God knows you're the elect according to his foreknowledge. He knows the future. And if you're elect, you're elect from the foundation of the world. Before he formed you in the womb, he knew you. He knew that you would keep yourselves in his love. And you're elect, a saint of God, elect according to his foreknowledge through sanctification of the Spirit. You're a saint with the Spirit of grace unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ, it all works together, grace unto you, and peace be multiplied. Timothy, my own son, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Peter takes it even farther, grace unto you, and peace be multiplied. Multiplied, more grace, more peace, multiplied, because you're elect, because you're going to make it, because you're a saint of God, according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, through the sanctification of the Spirit. The Spirit has made you a saint. And you've got that Spirit of grace. Jesus Christ sprinkled His own blood for you. And you have, now you have grace unto you. And peace be multiplied. Jude chapter 1, verse 2. Jude chapter 1, verse 2. Jude 1, 2. Mercy unto you and peace and love jude takes it even farther mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied be multiplied from god the father and from our lord jesus christ god the father who sent his son and this is the will of god the father that everyone who seeth the son who seeth the son and believeth on him has everlasting life now, I know today when people say, well, we see the Son, they've made pictures of Jesus Christ, and he sometimes in these paintings and pictures, he looks like a, they make him to be looking effeminate and, you know, this kind of thing. And we picture Jesus with the long robes and the long hair and, you know, the sandals on his feet and the blue eyes and this type of thing. And he's walking through the deserts, and that's a fine, you know, and for the most part, you know, a way to picture the man, Jesus Christ. You know, you want to picture the man. You want to see Jesus Christ, the man, he's the good shepherd. But, Revelation, we have to see Jesus Christ, this, this, this God who we worship, who gives us grace and peace and love and mercy multiplied to us. We see him because it's a commandment that he that seeth the Son and believeth on him. It's the will of God that he that seeth the Son and believeth on him hath eternal life. And I will raise them up on the last day. The promise of eternal life. That's the record of God. The record that God gave of His Son. This eternal life is in His Son. Well, we see His Son. Jesus says to see Him. God said to behold the fiery serpent on the pole. The brazen serpent. To look upon it. To see Jesus Christ. Revelation 1.4 John to the seven churches which are in Asa. Grace be unto you. And peace Seems to be a theme here. Jude, Peter, Paul, John. Grace, peace. To who? To the elect, to the churches, to those who are going to make it. To those who are going to make it. To, get, to those who are going to be raised up on the last day to eternal life. To those who see Jesus Christ for who he is. John, to the seven churches which are in Asa, grace be unto you and peace from him which is and which was and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne. So we see Jesus Christ as sometimes we picture him as a man, sometimes we picture him with the sandals on, and we see Jesus Christ, but Jesus Christ says that he that seeth the Son, this is the will of God, that he that seeth the Son, that he that looks on the serpent on the brazen pole, to see him, which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne. So we look to Jesus, and we see Jesus, and these seven spirits which are before his throne. Zechariah chapter 4, Zechariah chapter 4, verse 10. 
Zechariah 4.10 For who hath despised the day of small things? For they shall rejoice and shall see the plummet in the hand of Zerubbabel with those seven. They are the eyes of the Lord, which run to and fro through the whole earth. John says, from the seven spirits which are before the throne. Who are these seven? They are the eyes of the Lord, which run to and fro through the whole earth. Revelation, Revelation chapter 5, verse 6. Revelation chapter 5, verse 6. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne, and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb, as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. These are the eyes of the Lord that run to and fro throughout the earth, and they behold the doings of the children of men. Jesus Christ is watching you. He's watching you. And Jesus Christ says to look upon him, the lamb with seven eyes, and seven horns. The lamb with seven eyes and seven horns. Revelation 4, 5. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. His eyes are seven lamps of burning fire, which are the seven spirits of God. His eyes are as a flame of fire. His seven eyes, his seven eyes, the Bible describes it, which are the seven spirits of God, which run to and fro throughout the whole earth. And they behold the doings of the children of men. God is looking upon you. And God says the lamb with the seven eyes and the seven horns, which are the seven, the seven eyes or the seven spirits of God, those seven burning lamps, which are his eyes, which are a flame of fire. The eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ear are open unto their prayers. 1 Peter, 1 Peter 4, 12, 3, 12. His eyes, the lamb with seven eyes, is watching you. He's watching you. And likewise, John 6, 40, he sees you. He knows you, and John 6.40 says that this is the will of God, that you see him. You see him for who he is. You see him for the lamb with seven eyes, which are seven burning lamps, which are the seven spirits of God. John 6.40 and this is the will of him that sent me, that every one which seeth the Son. Okay? So you can see him with the sandals on. You can see him walking through the desert with the blue eyes and the long hair. And at the boat on the Sea of Galilee, you can see him like that. But you can see him with the lamb with seven horns and seven eyes and seven burning lamps, which are the seven spirits of God, which are his eyes, which go to and fro throughout the whole earth. And you see that. You see the Son. And you remember that he says, John 11, John 11, 25, John 11, 25, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. He that believeth in me, the lamb with the seven horns, the seven eyes, the seven burning lamps, which are the seven spirits of God, which are the eyes of the Lord, which do behold all the comings and goings of the children of men throughout the whole earth. And the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord, the face of the lamb with seven eyes and seven horns are against them that do evil. I pray that you won't. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Let's sing the doxology. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. 